Okay, tonight we are going to look at the cycling of matter. Okay, and remember matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. And if you look at this picture, you can see how matter is constantly being moved around our environment and changing into different forms. And that is what we are going to start looking at. We are going to take some Cornell notes on page 41 in your journal, so make sure that you are on page 41 and get everything set up properly. Okay, the first thing we need to look at is that on our Earth, the same matter exists now that existed millions of years ago. Okay, so basically the matter has gone through many, many changes over the year, but the actual to total amount of matter on the Earth hasn't changed. It's not created or destroyed. Okay, so this is very important to understand. Matter is not created or destroyed. It simply cycles between different forms through chemical and physical processes. Okay, so let's look at this one cycle that you are very familiar with, the water cycle. Okay, so we know the sun heats up the water. The water evaporates. It's going to change from a liquid to a gas. Okay, it's going from one form to another. It's going to condense and cool down and turn back into a liquid through condensation. Then when that cloud is heavy enough, it's going to fall to the ground as precipitation. Okay, so you've got a cycle here. You've got matter in the form of water cycling through the earth, changing forms as it goes depending on the amount of heat energy available. Okay, nothing was created, nothing was destroyed. The water just went from liquid to gas back to liquid. Okay, so that's an example of how matter cycles through our earth and how it's not created or destroyed. It simply changes forms through either a chemical or a physical process. Okay, and there are three main cycles that we're going to talk about in which matter and energy interact. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about is going to be, we're going to review the water cycle, which you are all pretty familiar with. The second one is what we call the carbon cycle. And the third one is what we call the nitrogen cycle. Okay, so these are the three main cycles that we're going to talk about where matter and energy are constantly interacting in a living system. Okay, living systems, just an ecosystem, um, basically anything involving interactions between living things. Okay. So make sure you write down those three cycles. The last little thing we're going to talk about tonight is this word biomass. Okay, so you, so you know mass is the amount of matter, or uh, the amount of matter basically in an object. Um, and then bio, remember our prefix bio means life or living. Okay, so basically biomass is just going to refer to organic matter or organic material from plants and animals. And organic, again, is just something that comes from a living thing, okay? Um, and here you have different types of biomass, crops, wood, garbage, um, landfill gas, alcohol fuels, okay? Um, those are different types of biomass, and we're going to be looking at that when we start talking especially about composting, okay? Okay. So that is just our little introduction to how map the earth. Go ahead and please make sure you write your summary at the bottom. Um, I will take off points if you do not include your summary tonight on your Cornell notes. And then make sure you also ask a couple questions that you have based on what we talked about today. And then if you have any biomass, okay, so if you have any like decaying fruit, some banana peels, anything like that, bring it in. Okay, we're going to make our own composting bin. Okay, so if you have any sort of um, leftover fruit or banana peels, um, things like that, go ahead and bring that in tomorrow. And we will talk more about how matter cycles through our earth and we will look at each cycle individually.